On this episode of Make It, we join West African-born Malik Sidibe in New York City, where we see how New York is a constant source of inspiration for his vibrant fashion photos. We then go on a photo walk to see how he approaches his subjects. This week on Make It. Thanks a lot for coming on the show. Really excited to have you on. So what kind of photographer are you? What do you do? I'm into fashion photography and portraiture. I started photographing my friends just because um, we kind of want out of photos to come out looking nice on social media. And um, the next thing I know, I found myself doing photography for, li um, photography for a living. So, That's great. I yeah. mean, let's take a look at some of your photos. I mean, I love the, the, your, your sense of style and your sense Thank of you. color. It's just really, really cool. Thank you. So, like, tell me a little bit about what your approach is when you're going um, out shooting. Yeah, my approach when I'm going shooting most of the time is just like, I kind of like, you know, come up with the idea in my head. And um, so I like just most, like I sit on it for a long time and then just kind of think about it. And um, I get my inspiration from like literally every day. Um, this shot, we did this in Coney Island. Um, basically, I lit it with a reflection. I just kind of use that to pop it a little bit and um, try, to, try to get like the sun. So this is Amanda and um, she go to Parsons. She have the braids and everything. and. Um, at the end of the school year, some girls was kind of coming at her for having braids, and you know, like they're like, "Oh, it's cultural appropriation," and um, it, which wasn't like the reason why she had it. She like um, did the hair because she really liked the hair, and um, I even recommended her to get the hair done. And um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to like portray that in a way and just kind of make her look strong and confident to kind of like you know just show the world that you don't have to be black to have certain hair or like you don't have like, you know, just kind of like break some boundaries and stuff. And mm -hmm. here's another shot with yep. really interesting, like yeah. the color, the processing is really cool. Like the... Like her emotion in this shot, it just kind of like, I don't know, I feel like it's amazing, especially the red highlight on the side of her face. And um, I feel like it flows really, really nicely with the colors and stuff, so. So, I mean, you're shooting this, uh, is this in a studio right No, here? this was actually in a bathroom. And um, <laughs> the nice. red light is coming from a neon light that she had uh, in her room. And oh, um, nice. that's what we use to light it. And um, I use like my camera flash mm. and just popped out a little bit, yeah. What I think is really interesting about what you were doing is just the, the interaction with all mm -hmm. these different styles mm -hmm. all coming together. But it, it has its own unique style. It's yeah. like uniquely you, which mm -hmm. I thought was really cool. Like when you showed me your portfolio at the Eddie Adams workshop, I, I, it really stood out to me as something that was unique and, and having your own voice. Thank you. How did you define or how did you come up with your own voice? I don't know. Like most of the time, I just kind of like, you know, like most of my models are my friends. So I just kind of like try to connect with them in a way. I always try to like portray them somehow in the shots. And um, also, um, I feel like the reason why most of my shots are like kind of relatable is because I try to also like portray myself into the mm. photographs. I try to like, you know, because it's like a photo shoot is like, you know, it's about the model, but at the same time it's about the photographer because yeah. you like the work you're making it's like your idea is coming right. from you so like why not include something a little bit about you and it could be like you know it could be like the outfit and it could be like the attitude of mm -hmm. the model or like something like there's just always like that one moment I just kind of clicks in and you're like all right this is really awesome. I think it's really interesting also looking at some of these mm -hmm. uh, these photos that you have you know integrating mm -hmm. parts of New York yep. along with your fashion photography yep. which is I think really fun. Yeah in New York um like New York has like been a really important part of my life because um, I was born and raised in West Africa and um, I remember being in Africa and I was like kind of wondering like oh what are like the kids in New York doing like you know where are like the cool spot that they hang out and like mm -hmm. what are the, some of the stuff they do and just kind of finally growing up and uh, moving in here and just you know like now I feel like I know every single part of New York City yeah. so like yeah I try to like portrait, um, like I also show that in my photographs a little bit. I try to go out of places that, and like portrait them in a way where people wouldn't, like will almost not recognize the place and like, unless they know the place or like, you know, stuff like that, so. Well, I'm not that frequently in New York City. And the fact that you said that you know all parts of New York, I want to go out with you. You've got some amazing street stuff. I'm going to like use you as a tour guide, awesome. take me to the cool spots. Is that cool? Yeah, I All got right. my camera, so. Cool, man. <laughs> I got my camera. Let's make it happen. Let's go. Let's go take some photos. I'm so excited to come out here and take some yeah. photos with you. I love New York City. I love everything about it. Mm -hmm. What is it that like, why do we come here? What, what are we doing here? Um, I think like this, 
place is like really cool for me because it was just like um, I remember kind of looking at photos and stuff of like Brooklyn Bridge and just kind of being here and um, being able to photograph this area is really cool. I think I could kind of blur out the city in the background a little bit and just kind of get those ambient lights a little bit. Hey, nice it's to good, meet you. Bro. I'm Josh. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? What was hey, nice to meet you. I'm Josh. Today? Oh, you're chilling, bro. Nice. Right? <laughs> right. Weird, I feel you. Word. So yeah, like you guys know I'm doing this Adobe thing with Josh, he's really cool and um, yeah, and we're gonna try to get some shots of you guys and I'm um, thinking about even maybe like, I like that thing right there, so maybe you could even play around with it and like get some shots of you guys and just being yourself and just playing around. So what are we doing over here? Yeah, maybe like, ooh, that was really cool. So maybe we could even try to get that, like maybe have you looking through there. All right, so do you want me to so, yeah. use the... Um, let's turn off the speed light for now and okay. just use the ice light right now. Okay. And um, see how that come out. Yep, awesome. Got it. Cool. And maybe, yeah, maybe even have it up here for a little bit so I can see how that look. Ooh, that looks nice. That's good. Yeah. Can I have him in? Yeah, maybe even have it in the bottom and just kind of let him from the top so I can kind of get, like, yeah, make it a little dramatic. Maybe see how that looks. How's it look? It looks nice. What do you think? I could even That's put really up, cool. Yeah, go up to 15. So you want like, you're opening up the shutter speed so that yeah. you get more of the ambient light in the yeah. background? Yeah, in the background. Oh, also, I'm cool. gonna do a quick close up to you and just like stand right there, like the way you had your hands in there. Yeah. And I look up and like, can I have your hair on your face a little bit if you can? Yeah. Awesome. Just stand next to that because I kind of want to like replicate like that somehow. Great. This is awesome, dude. You better be the next IG model, bro. <laughs> This is fire, I really love the position and like you also get the weight in the jacket and it kind of stand out a little bit and pop out. But yeah, like, let's try it out another location and just see how that come out too. And now uh, cool. maybe we could do a lot more with like the shirts that you have on. And yeah, awesome. So what are we looking for, Malik? Um, I kind of like this garage right here because of like the lines on it. Yeah. And um, if maybe if I even put this big light under it, it might kind of get, like, get a little bit of shadows of, like from cool. the lines or something. Let me see. So um, basically I have the speed light down, angled up a little bit so it could kind of raise like the shadows going up mm -hmm. and um, kind of make it dramatic a little bit and um, yeah. try to like incorporate that in there. Cool, yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, so like, yeah, you already know how you should go. And um, I like the comb in your hair, so I like, kind of have it out a little bit so I see it. Cool. Now you want the light? Yeah, can I have that on? Okay. Awesome. And maybe... Tell me where you want me to be. Yeah, let me see how this shot looks like. Right now I have my ISO on um, 1000 and uh, my shutter speed on 100 and 3.5 ISO. Let me see how. Cool. It looks really nice. Let me have it move over there so it's centered. Okay. Right. Move back a little. Yeah, like, no, 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 you get like right there. Cool. Awesome. And Josh, let me kind of have it um, angled like down like that way. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we'll kind of get like the shadows under his chin, make it like a little dramatic. So it's like, this is how it was coming out. Like I really like the sharp shadows on you and like, Word. you see how, yeah. Whoa, I like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I love the color that's going on. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, and the lines in the background—they're a little bit out of focus, yep. but they're still there and yep. still really present, giving a nice graphical. Yeah, look. and like, it. yeah, I could like when I take it to Lightroom, I might like bump up the background light a little bit, mm -hmm. just kind of give it a, more, a little more detail. That's awesome. I can't wait to see how these turn out. Yeah.